Read down. Can you put let's let, let's read this something? <coughs> okay, verse 4. Are you there? That the righteousness of the law may be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Verse 5. For they that are after the things, for they that are after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, do what? Do mind the things of the spirit. Verse 6. For the carnal mind, he did not say the carnal mind, the carnal mind, or for the carnal, or for to be carnally minded, is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Hold on, post, leave, leave verse 7 there, just the one going somewhere. For to be carnally minded, what does it mean for me that was said to be carnally minded? To be carnally minded, you do not judge anything from the spirits. Anything that comes your way, you judge it with your human senses. And you forgot that you don't serve God with your human senses. Somebody has worked 160 hours, you will not tell him to bring the tithes. As what? For what? That's the carnal man. So pastor, I will walk. I'm the one doing the work. Then I will not bring the tithes. As what now? Are you the one walking the walk? Which God, like our father said a few months, a few weeks ago, that the man came to him, see, you will say we should bring our money, give to God. Do God come to come in the midnight in the church? And look, I, I thought of it as a child as a child those days. After I thought of it. The Reverend Father will say, bring, we'll bring the money. And I said, so, so God come at midnight to take the offering and go. So the man was, he doesn't understand. He said, Let's give to God. So the man would, he hear the man of God say, God is a spirit. So he want to be sure. Pastor, you say we should give to God. Does God come in the midnight and take the money and take it to heaven? That is the come. And the lawyer. So when it comes to serving God, it has nothing to do with your kind of education. Your degree and your qualification has nothing to do with serving Jesus. Spiritual things is not judged by the level of your knowledge physically, but can only be judged by the level of your spiritual knowledge. A lawyer for that matter. Right, and was because he was so carnally minded. So the and I said, okay. You will see how God used to come. <laughs> you come to church, you will see how God will come and carry the money. <laughs> you must now, wow. So, so God will come, come for heaven, carry money. <laughs> now, because he was carnal. But that, by the way, the moment a believer, before you judge or conclude over anything, See it from the eyes of the spirit. Yes, to be carnally minded. So the man or woman who is the elect of God is a man who sees things in the spirit. Now, can I ask you a question? Most of the time, men of God come see here and they read seed, for example. So we call all kinds of seed. If I'm asking, a carnal man cannot come out. They will, they will, they will, they will, they will just miss certain calls and you just work out. Because you are not looking at what you are giving, you are looking at the spiritual thing you want to gain. Hallelujah. Believing that you can only gain the spiritual assets by dropping your carnal things. Am I right, church? Yes, so that's why when you call for a CV, your pride and your offering, as you drop your pride on the offering box, there is this consciousness you have. As I'm dropping my tithes, God will open my door. So it is a spiritual mindset. And so somebody who does not have that understanding will say, so after I worked 240 hours, I will not come and drop the tithes. They wait. And can I tell you, you would think you have money. When people start eating what is for the Lord, <laughs> you'll be wondering 
why are you still struggling over certain issues? Yeah. Check yourself. Church don't get a problem. Yes, sir. Check yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I faithful? And then you check yourself. God is not a magician. The, 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 the freedom and the benefit of the kingdom works with principles. If I ask you a question, you give birth to a child, and you know that the first, what is the first stage after, is it sitting first or crawling first? I forgot. <laughs> sitting first. Maybe I have to go on to the <laughs> <laughs> I'm forgetting now. Okay, sitting first. After sitting, crawling. After crawling, in between the months of sitting and crawling, how many months is that? Six months. Okay, sitting and no, sitting and crawling. How many months? Six. Just imagine you gave birth to a child. In 14 days, listen, it's okay. <laughs> Before we fight, you cease. No, it's seven. It's six. The next thing goes over. No, I will blow you. You cease. <laughs> you get back to a child in 30 days while you were taking your bath, your baby you kept on the bed. <laughs> the next thing you hear. Mommy, you will knock and down. Mommy. Shut up. Because to you, it's not normal. It's not possible, Abby. Mm -hmm. Because that is not the principle of nature. Yes, sir. You will. You must. That's not the principle. The same thing with the kingdom principles. You cannot assess, we not we cannot assess some benefit of the kingdom until we follow the word, the principles. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. I was listening to my mother a few weeks ago. He said something. And I was bonding with him myself. That Christ, Christians are too religious. He said something. It's my mother said. He said. The kingdom principles and the expansion of God's kingdom is there to seed sowing. Because it was time to raise money, and people were like, My mother has come again. Hey, oh, now say so. say, The kingdom of God is surrounded by seed. And I like, so Let me listen to this man. Let me get because these are fathers who have gone far. He said, he now read the script. A farmer went to sow some fed on what? Fetter ground. Some fed on good ground. And the one that fell, what? On a fetter ground, grew up. What he was trying to say, he said, the principle of God's kingdom on earth is to the principle of seed sowing. And that's why God said to Noah, why the earth remains, seed time and harvest shall not cease. Just like you have winter, you have summer, you have all kinds of weather. These things are programmed by God under nature. So the same thing is applicable to the kingdom of God. You cannot say you are more than a conqueror until you are the elect of God. And the only way you can be an elect of God is to begin to walk in the spirit. The ability to judge issues and see issues and approach issues from the eyes of the spirit. That is why he said, the carnal man cannot please God. The carnal man. The carnal man may not be a sinful man. The 
A carnal man is the man that judges God or handles the things of God with his five senses. That is why when God calls Samuel and Samuel ran to Eli, he said, are you calling me? That was a camera man. He said, I didn't call you. He said, but I heard my name. He went the second time. I heard my name. Eli, did you call me? He said, I didn't call you. The third time he went, he said, did you call me? He said, oh, 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 oh. You are still very carnal. He said, when you hear the voice again, say, Jeremiah, speak, thy servant hear it. What am I trying to say? Spiritual things are taught. Carnal things are not taught. See them. Spiritual things are what? Are taught. Carnal things are not taught. Carnal things is better in you already. But spiritual things are taught. So because Samuel thought it was just Aaron, I mean, Eli called him, he was a carnal man. He was carnal in his reason and thought. And Eli said, no, no, no. If you hear that voice again, say, hear am I, Lord, speak. And guess what? He went. The moment he said, hear am I, Lord, speak. He was taught and the access was open. What am I saying, church? There are some benefits of the kingdom of God we cannot enjoy until we are taught. And that's why Paul said this. Look at this. Let's go to 37. I'm going to 35. Open to 35. I'm writing up in a few minutes' time. Look at it. What shall separate us from the love of what? God or Christ? Somebody say one. One. All this distress. Somebody say two. two. All persecution. Somebody say three. three. All family. Somebody say four. four. All nakedness. Somebody say five. five. All perry. Somebody say six. Three. All sword. Somebody say seven. seven. And the Bible said, if a righteous man falleth and what? Seven times, he shall do what? What is trying to tell you, though you may be confronted with the seventh satanic agenda, but because you are more than a conqueror, you will come out of it. Seven weapons, tribulations, distress, persecution. Tribulations is like trouble. Distress. What is happening in Orlando, Florida right now? Distress. Something. What is distress? Distress is something you cannot control. It's a natural occurrence. You can't control the wind. They don't have nothing to do. And look at what happened. The wind was supposed to go to the north. And suddenly they, they are forecast not. Suddenly the wind changed. So to the west and they, they actually moved them to the west before <laughs> what they were running for okay, that is distress or persecution can happen in your office, can happen in your family you refuse to do this you are going to you will remain in this position for long or famine, scarcity. It does happen at times. You know true child of God during scarcity, not abundance. Anybody can say praise God when there is money in the pocket. Anybody can praise God. The joy of the Lord is my strength, not the bank, not your bank account. So if you ask, if you see people, hey, where is you? Could they ask them, why are you dancing? He has given me pity. <laughs> Why are you dancing? Something just hit on the pocket. <laughs> ah. 
there is a difference between joy and happiness. Mm -hmm. Happiness is temporal. Mm -hmm. Joy is everlasting. That's why the joy of the Lord oh, yeah. is strength. Amen. So, 60% of believers we don't have joy. Oh, we have happiness. happiness. Oh, it is time, it is time for your tongue, for your meeting to give you your money. They have gathered for Brother Peter, for Brother John, <laughs> for Brother Matthew. It's not Brother Felix. You see, Brother Felix, that Sunday, he's going to collect on Monday. Then the chairman called him, Brother Felix, the money is ready. Brother Felix comes to church on, on, son, on Sunday. Brother Felix has not been shouting Jesus before. As the prayer man take Nelly, we shout, hey. Jesus is God! Jesus is God! Hey! Because the money is coming to Brother Felix's hands on Monday! <laughs> Pastor, no, don't close, don't close, don't close! Who tell you? Let Nelly be nothing, Pastor. And then you, know, you have to. <laughs> okay, move to the book. Move. I'm running up. I have 15 minutes more. Look. Sword. What's the fifth one? Nakedness. Or nakedness. Nakedness can be shame. Nakedness is not referring to materials. People know you for a particular matter. They know that you have been going through this. You have that shame. It's nakedness. It's shame. They have known you that. That woman, forget woman. Shame or bearing or sword. Paul said, In all these things, as there six, it is written for thy sake, we are killed all day long. We are accounted as a sheep for to be slaughtered. What it means in the midst of all these things, give yourself to prayer. That's what it means. When we, we are killed, he's talking about though we, we are going through these things, we are seeing these things, but in this thing did not change our way of serving God. We still head on to the promises of God because we are more than a conqueror. Look at verse 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than what a conqueror. So every born again child of God, an elected of God, working in the spirit and rightly with God, you are the elect of the Lord and you are more than a conqueror. I will conclude with this. May in all these things we are more than a conqueror. No, for I am persuaded. What does it mean to be persuaded? Convinced. On this issue, I am convinced. Neither death, not just con not just persuaded. I am determined also. Uh, persuaded could be I am determined. Neither. Somebody say one. one. No life. Somebody say two. two. No angel. Somebody say three. three. No principality. Somebody say four. four. No power. Somebody say five. five. No this present. Somebody say six. six. No this to come. Somebody say seven. seven. Move on. No height. Somebody say eight. eight. No death, somebody say ten. Nine. Nine. No any creature. Ten. And ten talks about authority. What is possible? No matter the authorities of hell that gang up against me, I refuse. Because why? I am a more than a conqueror. 
shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Can you stand on your feet? You are more than a conqueror. Is somebody hearing me now? I don't know what doctor has told you. I don't know what man has called you. I don't know the name you have named. But I say to somebody, you are more than a conqueror. Soka separates. Separates us from the love of God. I declare to you today. Hear the sound of my voice. Take this message to your bedroom. Say to yourself. This may not be where I am now. This where I am now may not be where I'm supposed to be. What I'm going to now. Is not what I wish for. But I am more than a conqueror. Amen. Now what you are going through. Do not actually determine who you are. Yes, sir. What you go through do not determine who you are. Who you are is different from what you go through. Yes, I will conclude. Jesus was the Lamb of God. Mm-hmm. All powerful. When he was being arrested, who was he? Was he an arm robber or the same Jesus? Does that change who is that? No, no. When he was being beaten, who was he? Was he saying the same Jesus? Yes, when he was crucified, was he saying the same Jesus? Yes, so what you go through do not change who you are. Yes, but believers, people change when they go through. Because when you know your identity, you know who you are. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. You want to pray one prayer. The spirit of a conqueror rest upon me. Amen. The spirit of a more than a conqueror rest upon me. Say, my father, my maker. As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, these remaining few days of this month, these remaining few days of this month, the ability and the power, the ability and the power to be more than a conqueror, to be more than a conqueror, manifest in my life now, manifest in my life now, open your mouth and turn it to prayer. If you look at what Paul said, he said, What shall separate me from the what? From the law of God. There are some things that confront your victory. You will pray, my father. Is it persecution? Is it nakedness? Is it peril? Whatever that want to confront your victory, Lord, in this mountain of prayer, I do what? Confront them. Amen. Lift your hands on fire. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that want to confront my victory. Whatever that want to confront my victory. That has already been declared. That has already been declared. That I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. I say pray now. I pray now. Every forces. Every forces. I want to contend with my victory. I want to contend with my victory. Collapse now. Don't 
Every cause, every force, forces of darkness, no one to contend against my victory. Go loud by fire, go loud by fire, for I am more than the conqueror. I am more than the conqueror. I am more than the conqueror. My secretary, in the name of prayer. Amen. Amen. You are Alpha and Omega. We right now that is going to challenge the power of a conqueror is going to come upon you now Amen. more than a conqueror that's who you are patient of days I want you to know the power of God is here right now. There's going to be healing in your bodies, healing in your spirits, healing in your soul, healing in your soul. Krakada Basha. Take your 
to go you will no more know scarcity you will no more know persecution we declare the spirit of a more than a conqueror rest upon you in the name of Jesus you leave this place with a new garment a new power a new strength Allah basha la kabra kadaya mandozo Ibrakadomza Balibrakada Zoba Rada Baba Receive Christ the Conquer Receive Christ the Conquer In the name of Jesus Celebrate Jesus 